Welcome everybody. My name is Jakub Topolski and I am a Squish Technical Consultant. Today I will try to briefly show you how to install Python third-party modules, how to change Python interpreter used by Squish to external one, and explain why should we do that. Python is a great choice as a scripting language for our test cases and test framework. It has a shallow learning curve, a huge involved community, and tons of useful modules that can simplify our work tremendously. Some of you already know that Squish comes with two built-in Python interpreters. It's your choice if you want to use Python 2.7 or Python 3.8. And although we are allowed to use the former one, Python 2.7 is no longer maintained. Moreover, we can expect more and more third-party modules dropping support for this version. If possible, I recommend switching to Python 3.8, uh, unless uh, we are already there. Uh, once we establish the Python version to use, we can create our first test cases. Squish's API is great for handling uh, application under test graphical user interface, uh, but when it comes to working with the backend of the application with external files or processes, that might not be enough. And that's the place where Python's packages come to the rescue. Uh, the Python standard library already provides a bunch of useful tools that can, easily in, that can be easily incorporated uh, into test framework structures. Uh, modules like logging, daytime, CSV, etc. They simplify our work with files, data sources, and processes. But what if even that is not enough? What if we would like to achieve more or just in a simpler way? In such a case, we can use PyPI, a repository of software for the Python programming language. The impressive number you can see on the screen, numbers, uh, actually were collected in September 2021, and today they might be much, much higher. With PyPI, we have access to even more great packages that can be used to enhance our test framework. Do you need to send HTTP request to REST API? No problem, install request package. Do you need to pull data out of HTML or XML file? There is beautiful soap. Something to analyze complex data? Please install pandas. Do you need to um, execute the command over um, SSH on a remote machine? You can grab parameter. Of course, these are just examples. The same goal can be achieved with different tools. And all of that sounds great, but in some cases you may hit the wall when the built-in Python interpreter is used. Due to various technical reasons, Squish developers had to trim it a bit. And because of that, some of the third-party modules can be easily installed and used. Um, fortunately, my clever colleagues thought about such a case as well and gave us uh, an option to use the external Python interpreter. Like the one you can download and install from the official Python website. And to, to avoid complications, I would suggest reaching for this solution at the moment you want to use any third-party Python package. So, already mentioned Paramico is one of these problematic packages that won't work with Squish internal interpreter right away. Um, but why would we like to use Paramico in our scripts at all? So with Squish remote, API, uh, Squish remote system API, it's possible to execute shell commands on a remote machine uh, where the Squish server is running. However, if Squish server is running locally and, we, uh, and our tests attached to the application under a test running on an embedded device, our options are rather limited. And here, Paramica, so Python implementation of the SSH version 2 protocol, comes in handy. So let's try to introduce this package to our test framework uh, with a few simple steps. Let's take a closer look at Squish IDE and the example Python script I prepared for you. 
In this test script, we are using the Paramico package. To establish connection with the remote host and to execute a simple shell command. So currently uh, we are using the Python interpreter delivered within uh, the Squish IDE. Let's run our test case to see that Squish was not able to find a module named Paramico. So what can we do in such a situation in general? We would probably look for a way to install such a module. module. Because Param of course, Paramico module is not pre-installed within the delivered interpreter. Let's open the Windows PowerShell. As you can see, we are already in the Squish installation directory. Now I'm going to open Python 3 subdirectory and call Python. Yep, it's here. So to install any, or most of the third party uh, Python packages, we can use a manager called pip. To do that, let's call uh, python with minus m pip install paramico. Okay. This time, you get information that there is no module name pip. And that's a fact. Squish does not come with pre-installed pip module. To install it, uh, we can download a helper script called getpip from the pip documentation website. Once we have the script, we can execute it. So Python and then path to the script. It takes just a few moments to install pip manager. And once it is installed, we can use it to install the Paramico. Great. So we have the Paramico installed and let's try to execute our test case again. Okay. So this time Squish was able to find the module, uh, but we get a different kind of error. So there are some problems with uh, importing other libraries. And instead of trying to solve these problems, uh, let's consider using the external Python interpreter. How to, how to change Python interpreter for, for Squish from internal to external one? Fortunately, there is a helper script prepared by my colleagues, script called Python Changer, that we can download from our knowledge base. Again, once we have the script, we can go back to the Squish installation directory and now use the Python that we want to change to, to call it. So, in my case, this is the Python installed on the C drive, Python 3.8. That I'm going to use to call this, oops, sorry, TMP, Python changer script. So we get results immediately. And at the end of this output, we can see that the loading is successful. So the internal Python will switch to the external one. Let's go back to our test case and now let's try to let's try to, to run it again. So again, 
uh, as there is no Parmico installed in this external uh, interpreter, Squish was not able to find it. This time, we know that uh, Python packages uh, that we download from the uh, Python official website, they already have the built-in pip package. So, uh, let's use this Python. Version 3.8, Python minus n pip install Paranico to install Paranico from the PyPY. Right, so Paranico was installed successfully. You can go back to Squish IDE and execute test case again. Great. So this time there are no war no warnings, no errors, no failures, just green color for the test suite and test case name, two log messages, and the output of the executed command. Command that was executed on the remote machine through the Parmical package. So with this few simple steps, you can easily change between different Python interpreters. Uh, you can install third-party modules and improve your test cases and test framework in general. What could be the next step that we can ap we could apply to improve uh, our setup even further? For example, uh, we could consider using uh, Python virtual environments, uh, which is a really interesting topic. Unfortunately, uh, it, it's not covered during uh, today's presentation. If you would like to learn more about that, uh, I encourage you to visit our blog and knowledge base. That's all what I prepared for you today. Uh, and I'm ready for your questions. Thank you.